One of the biggest YouTubers ever, Mr. Beast, ends up going to jail, and not many people know the full story behind this. In this video, we'll be counting down things you might not know about Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast is arguably one of the biggest YouTubers in the world, currently sitting at 243 million subscribers right now, and for context, that's like 71% of the entire US population. Drop a like if you sub to him, but only a small fraction of these subscribers will know about some of the moments in this video from people people cheating in Mr. Beast challenges, fake video accusations, the time he almost quit YouTube, and more. But first on the list, we have a moment where Mr. Beast talks about how he barely escapes alive. Apparently after a video, his friend was driving past midnight and his heart stopped beating right on the highway while he was still pressing the gas. Obviously this could end very wrong as he's passed out, driving at highway speeds, and you guys gotta hear what Mr. Beast ends up doing. At the time I almost died. Basically, we filmed the video like eight hours away. It was a normal video we finished at midnight. And then my friend driving, yeah, he just he just says, can we pull over to a gas station? I don't feel too good. And I'm like looking at the road and I turn and look to my left and his head's just bobbling. And he's just like- Wait, is he driving? Yeah, Super. down the highway and he's just like- What are you talking about? Like his arm just went limp like that. He's screaming, wake up as we're going down the highway. And like, his foot though is still on the gas, so we're like slowly going a little faster now. We're going like 80 or 85. Yeah. This is so scary. Like at this point, the car's going with no one behind the wheel basically, and this could end so wrong. But you guys gotta hear what Mr. Beast does next. Yeah. And I'm now just it's like, what? exactly. And I have my hand on the steering wheel. I'm in the passenger seat. And this, so I was like, I gotta, you know, in my head, I'm like, I gotta take his foot off the gas. I can't touch his foot on the pedal without leaning below the wheel. And so I can't see the road. So I'm steering the car. But to take his foot off the gas, I have to put my head below the steering wheel. So I, can, I just was like, you know, I gotta, I gotta slow this car down. So I was just like, okay. Yeah. And I just put my head below the wheel. I grabbed his foot and just threw it off the gas. And then I look up and I'm like, oh, we're still going straight. So to explain what happened to him is his heart just stopped beating. It just literally stopped beating. He has a. Next up, we have a moment where fans are saying Mr. Beast was faking his videos. This would be so sad to hear for a lot of fans to find this out, but apparently he made a video where he made his own bank and giving away free money to people. But turns out he was giving away fake money. You guys gotta see the evidence of this and how he responds to it. Okay, okay, now let's talk about this fake money from Mr. Beast. How could you? Two days ago, Mr. Beast uploaded a video titled, I opened a free bank. Bank, where people came into the bank and Mr. Beast gave them money. But if you zoom closely, one of the dollars says motion pictures on it. What is going on with that? You know, if you have hundreds of people in the location and you're just handing out tons of money, if you're handing out actual real money, there's safety and security risks. Like, as they're about to leave, uh, we had someone stop them and be like, hey, that's prop money. Uh, here's an actual check for that so you're not walking around with $10,000 in real cash. In this clip, we have a very old video of Mr. Beast where he actually goes to jail. Only the OG fans remember this video, which was posted over five years ago, but there's this TikTok search circulating around with a small clip of it and saying Mr. Beast goes to jail and some fans believed it. You guys gotta see the actual video and not just watch the small clip, but this doesn't compare to another moment where cops actually put him in handcuffs and he ends up in real jail at the end of the video. Are we supposed to get a phone call or something? Yeah. Wait, you really locked it. <laughs> Taylor, calm down. <laughs> Taylor, you're freaking out. Good work. Let's go. Let's go, boys. All right, let's go. Go, 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 go. Okay. I can't go back. Mr. Beast is generally a nice guy and shows the side of him on camera, but fans found a clip of him actually being angry. Now, this side is never really shown of him, but shows he's just human and can get angry at stuff sometimes. With all the stuff going on, I wouldn't blame him for being annoyed at times, but comment below what you think of this. So he's nice to the fans here, but here's the part where he gets angry during the event. We move them out of here. Why are we allowing them to leave? Why is there a merch store? Well, just saying, get rid of it. Give it to him for free. I don't care. Make just sure move those bears. If you take a photo, you're out. You're, I've, I've said that 30,000 times. Yeah, but I think they need to get the security guards now involved. Oh, 
Here we actually have a fan who cheated during a Mr. Beast video and gets away with it. Not many fans knew about this moment, but a fan participated in a last to take hands off Lamborghini wins it video and this fan decided to tie his shoes. Of course, the only way to do this is to take your hands off the Lamborghini and some fans thought he should have gotten out immediately because of this. Comment below what you guys think. If you would like to walk away with this brand new Mustang. Camaro. It's a Camaro. I don't know cars. <laughs> Chris, can you try it? So right here is when the guy takes his hands off the Lambo and he should have been out right there. Can keep it. Sick. Here's the part he knows he got away with it. Next, we have a deleted video from Mr. Beast that you guys weren't supposed to see. In this video, he actually talks about the time he almost quit YouTube. I guess he was having burnout and wasn't enjoying making videos anymore and almost gave up in the early stages of his career. But it's what he says at the end that makes fans super sad. I was sitting in my room, working, writing scripts, editing, doing, just, you know, counting to 100,000, just so I can make money, just so I can invest it. It was a very unhealthy lifestyle. I'm, uh, I don't know, that's kind of why I haven't been uploading recently. I just need to change the way I do things. It was very unhealthy. I just, I don't know how to explain it. I just was kind of getting depressed. I, oops, my hair. Uh, I was just kind of getting depressed. I wasn't really happy. I just worked, I sat in my- I couldn't even imagine YouTube being the way it is without Mr. Beast. Drop a like if you like his videos. But this was early on and when he ends up changing up his video style, this is the time he started to exponentially grow. I don't know, I just wasn't having fun. I'm a teenager, like I wanna enjoy my, my teenage years. So um, yeah, I'm changing things up. I'm gonna get back into uploading 100%. I'm uploading more now, promise, but it's not gonna be the same as before. I, something has to change, because it it's miserable. Sitting in that room alone all day, editing, writing scripts, filming, I just don't wanna- Next, we have one of Mr. Beast's most popular videos, the Squid Game video almost not being made. Apparently, one of the days filming, the Wi-Fi completely goes out and nothing could be filmed. He ends up giving everyone who came a thousand dollars, and that's almost half a million dollars being given away right there. The video was already over budget, so any more hiccups like this could have ended production. You guys gotta see what he says about this. That connected to like the Wi-Fi center in this giant stadium that we're doing the red light green light but the first day we went to film the wi-fi crashed there's too oh many there gosh. um and then um we rebooted and now certain phones are dying so i gave everyone who came out a thousand dollars all four hundred fifty six thousand of them i was like oh! hey sorry ah! and so that's why i went from 3.5 million to 4.2 here we have mr beast actually getting arrested and going to jail this is from air video and fans saw a small clip of this where jimmy gets taken out of his car handcuffed by the police and put in a jail cell some fans saw this small clip and thought Mr. Beast's career may be over. Turns out there's a huge plot twist and you guys gotta see the full video on Airac's channel explaining the prank. Step back to my car for me. Can you just put your hands right there? Right here? Yes sir, please. Spread your feet for me. Yeah. You've got a warrant for your arrest for communicating threats. I'm gonna pat you down, make sure you ain't got nothing illegal and we're gonna go to the uh, jail and take care of it. Sir? Yeah. I don't. No. Turns out this was a prank by Airac, but imagine if Mr. Beast got life in prison. That'd be crazy, but not as crazy as the time Mr. Beast encountered a ghost on camera. Click on the video on the screen to see why he had to end the video because of this.